One of the things I really, really love about Notion is this ability to bring everything we could possibly want and all the different possible views onto one place. And for my students preparing for their A-levels and their GCSEs in two or three months' time, the ability to be able to pull together all the past papers and all the mark schemes and all the model answers and everything they could possibly need in their preparation for my subject is just invaluable and it's another superpower of Notion. So today I'm going to show you how I've set up my A-level revision hub for my A-level math class so that I can share that with them and with anyone else in the school and beyond because in the description to this video you're able to go in and download uh, this particular revision hub for yourself so you can then share that with your students as well. So let's jump right in, I'll show you exactly how uh, I've built, put this thing together using the example I'm actually providing the link to you for in the description of the video. So let's jump right in. So here I am, I'm in my diary uh, and I'm with my class and I maybe want to, right guys, here is the Maths Revision Hub. Not that one. Let's just jump in and we'll search for hub. There is Maths A Level Revision Hub. And this is the hub, this is the first view that the students will see of it. This is the view that you'll get, or very, very similar to this whenever you um, download it. All right, so nice relevant uh, cover image there and icon for for my subject anyway a uh, little title and a quick call out bar there that's a call out bar up at the top just explaining to whoever is in where they are what they might find in here uh, any questions click to email me and click on the arrow to toggle down for that particular section and these are all toggles if you're not familiar with notion these are toggles so any of these these arrows we can click them down and then view what's hidden behind them. And I'll just take you through those now just quickly. So I felt as though after I'd created this page that I might need a few notes just to explain uh, what does NEP stand for. No empty pages, but I'll come on to that in a little second. Uh, a little glossary. Again, just any key terms in there um, and any uh, key info that we need to explain on our page. So there it is. Down into past and practice papers, and this is really the meat of this section, right? This is the powerhouse behind this hub. Uh, and it's just my way of sharing all of the A-level past papers with my students uh, exactly where they need them. So here we have the name of the paper, and I've got a naming convention for my papers. Um, and you may decide to stick to that or come up with an alternative one if you're doing a different subject. You're going to have to create this database yourself if you're doing a different subject. If it's maths, it's your lucky day. I've done the work for you. I'm sharing it in the description of the video. Okay, I thought it'd be useful often to be able to sort by the exact exam date. So there's the exact exam dates. Um, model answers. So every single, in this MA column, MA stands for model answers. In every single one of these, I have just uh, uploaded the relevant document. So there is for the specimen model answers for paper one. Maths at Excel A level, there we are, we click on it, we can see those model solutions, there they are, all in there. The students can just go in, if they're on working on an evening or something, and you're not around, they're like, how do I do this answer, I've tried it, I can't do it, go in there, there's model answers. The full question paper is in there, the model, the mark, mark scheme provided by the exam board is in there. Uh, the question paper NEP, right, this is a special one, so if we had the full question paper here. We will look at this and we will see the full question paper is 32 pages. But what I find is that a lot of these question papers, there's a lot of blank pages in there. Question two continued, question three continued, question four continued. So there might only be, how many questions is there in total? 14 questions. Well, the booklet is 32 pages long. I'm not gonna waste that much paper. Uh, much better, I think, just to print off the exact pages by taking the actual question paper, printing to PDF via these sort of options, print, rather, we'll come down to print, save as PDF, and then I'll go in and just select the exact pages, one, two, four, six, eight, for example, um, as you go through the paper, just selecting the pages with something material that the students need. So that instead of a 32 page document, you've got a 15 page document in the case of this specimen paper one. All right, and I've gone through and done all this and clearly I need to update this because this is not um, printed out properly, but 
you get the point and this is a random case where that's happened i'm not exactly sure why it has happened like that uh, but i'll go through and sort that out but you so yeah so that's what the nep for me i think that's pretty valuable so i can print those off for students and they're not getting bundles of paper that they're not going to use um where i can find recorded solutions online to these papers i have linked to those videos and normally these are tayyab majid's papers different youtube channel i'll link to that channel in the description of this video tayyab very very generous very very industrious with his uh, with what he shares uh, and he has shared youtube videos of his solutions to all these videos so click there you get the solutions to that particular video on youtube uh, and you can follow that uh, moving across paper coat maybe there's a properties a few properties here that i maybe started using and, and don't or plan to populate in time if it seems relevant paper coat was one of them i started it i've not found a great deal of utility in it probably don't bother um but I started it. Then we come down and we've got, we can, according to the strands, so with maths, you've got pure mechanics, stats, further pure, further core, and so on, decision. Well, it was use, it's sometimes useful to be able to sort or filter by just those strands. So I've done that. Then level, either AS, full A level, or AS for the maths, or full for the maths. So that's those. Again, we can sort and filter by those. And then the year of the paper. You know, so if you're looking for a 2019 or 2021 paper, there it is, okay. A few other useful revision resources there just off to the side, which may or may not be useful. Uh, textbooks. So here, look, we use the Pearson Ed Excel textbooks. Pretty happy with those. What I find is amazingly useful and generous of physics and maths tutor is that he is sharing um, full solution banks to every single one of those textbooks. So if we go to Pure Maths Year 1, uh, and this is embedded in your Notion revision page, remember going back to the fact that I want my students to come to one place and one place only. I don't want them to just be spending time clicking between windows, getting distracted by interesting ads and whatever comes up. Come to this page, guys. This is your one page that you need to come to to revise for your maths A level. So here I have, I've embedded those uh, work solutions to the textbook and we can click on there and the students can do this. Then click on there and annoyingly it's being blocked by Chrome today for some reason. However, we can obviously come in here. Uh, once you click on that, it takes you straight to the page. There we are, exercise 13A. There is the solutions. We click on it, we get them and we are off and running with um, with our solutions to the textbook. It's pretty useful. Not sure why that's happened. It does hasn't happened before, but so be it. Uh, formula sheet. Students often ask, is this in the formula sheet, sir? There you are. There's your formula sheet copied. And alongside um, everything you need to memorize for trig and calculus, pure mechanics and stats. Okay, the relevant sheets. I click on those. And there the sheet opens up for statistics. Everything my students need to memorize. Thank you very much, Mr. Bison Maths, sharing that. And everything my students need to memorize for their stats exam. In this case, it's all exactly there. And finally, down at the bottom, a work in progress, to be perfectly honest. I've just got the past papers all put in. Uh, I want to create a, a database of the A-level topics, along with topic summaries and unit tests, questions and answers. I just need to get those loaded in there, then they'll be there. Um, another pretty useful, so you've got the exam questions up at the top. Then we've got some useful uh, topic-specific resources down here at the bottom. Listen, I hope that's been super useful. You can see just this value in Notion of having one place and being able to handle all the different types of media, as in like PDFs uploaded or dates or grade boundaries is another thing. I didn't mention that at the time, grade boundaries in here. So if we come into 2018 or 2019, these are all just filtered views just to show me the mechanics papers or the stats or the pure 2018 papers, 2019, 2020, 2021. Note the 2022, although this video has been shot in 2023, the 2022 papers haven't been released from Edexcel yet, from the Edexcel website. If you're a teacher, you can get them. However, they're not being released, so I'm not gonna put them on here for public release until that they have been released fully. Um, but here we can jump in and 
as part of this table, I've included the grade boundaries for each of those papers, simply because at this stage, two months before the exam, I want students knowing where they are. Okay, so if you're currently sitting at a C and you need to get that A to get into university, well, you know you should be, you need to be getting more more marks in that particular paper. All right, and that's entirely what that's uh, why that's shared in there. But pretty useful. And students seem to like having that data. Perhaps unsurprisingly, they like having that data to their fingertips there, alongside the question paper model answers and marking. Thank you so much for watching. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll not miss any of my future videos. Remember to jump down to that description. Go and check out Tayub's uh, YouTube channel. Go and check out Bison Maths YouTube channel. Both amazingly helpful uh, resources. Go and check out Physics and Maths Tutor and make sure and keep a watch out for my videos coming up in the very near future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon.